Hey everybody, welcome to the Jordan Show. Uh, today I want to talk about scams. Retirees being scammed, everybody being scammed. There's a lot of scammers out there. As somebody once said, there's a sucker born every minute. So, let's do this first, and be right back. Okay, there are several different types of scammers. They they send you uh, emails, they send you texts, they call you on the phone. They uh, mail stuff to you in the mailbox. They're mainly retargeting retiree and older adults. The, uh, they target everybody, though, you know, because if you can make a dollar here and a dollar there, well, then you're doing okay. But uh, we are uh, subject to all kinds of scams and scammers once we get older. Uh, and one scams of is the AI-powered scam. Scammers use artificial intelligence to create fake emails, calls, messages. They look and sound like they're legitimate and have the logo of the company on there too. Uh, the most is is a text with like a four, like a five digit number. And uh, gosh, uh, President Trump is trying to get me to take a whatever poll. And then uh, everybody's right me and the one I've been getting lately is uh, this is the last time that we're going to contact you. And there's been like three or four last times. So I know, you know, just I, they just want me to click on a link. The uh, next one is funeral scams. Scammers take advantage of grieving families by claiming they owe money for funeral services or products that they never ordered and never got delivered. They may also uh, scan obituaries and contact relatives of deceased, pretending to be a debt collector. So, you know, that's, that's a good one right there. Uh, your husband died and, and he owes, you know, it may not be much, $2,000. And let's say he owes $2,000. And so what they want you to do is give them your debit card or even send them a check, $2,000 and 2000 That'll take care of it. And then they may call you back again saying that your husband, now he owes $500. So he, I don't know. You know, I'm not I'm not up on this. But uh, I have heard about it and I have seen it done in the past. Another thing is uh, tech support scams. Scammers pose as tech support agents from well-known companies such as Microsoft and Apple and and claim that the victim's computer has a birch, a, a virus, or a problem. This happened to me the other day. And uh, it came up on my computer, and I couldn't close it. I couldn't do anything. And it said, do not shut off your computer. Well, what did I do? I shut down my computer. And then about five, ten minutes later, I opened it back up, and it was still there. So uh, what I did was I went to the top of the screen, and I hit that little... X button on the tab up there and it went away. How about that? Probably wanted to build me for $750. Then another one is a government scam. You know, the government would never scam us. And uh, if they come to your door saying, I'm from the government and I'm here to help, run. So the government scammers, uh, they call or email older adults pretending to be their grandchildren or relatives. Oh my gosh, I've heard about this in the news lately where they'll take uh, uh, your your son or your husband's uh, voice, however they get it, and uh, call you on the phone and say, hey, I, I'm locked up in jail. Uh, you need to come down and post bail. Well, you know, my children always knew that if they ever got put in jail, they were going to be there for the morning. <laughs> Uh, they ask for money to help them uh, with an emergency or an accident or a medical bill or a legal issue or something like that. And they instruct the victim not to tell anyone else about this situation. Can you believe that? How would the government do that? So anyway, uh, that's uh, another one that is we're subject to as we get older. I'm 71 years old. Another one is the Internet scams. Scammer use various online platforms such as social media, dating sites. Can you believe that? Dating sites. And um, uh, what are e-commerce sites, 
all to lure the victims into a fraudulent scam. Like, everybody wants your money. I want my money. Everybody else wants it too. They may create a, even a fake profile or products or services and ask for money, gifts, or personal information. Uh, you don't want to give out your personal information because then uh, they can take your house, take your car, take all your money out of your bank. I mean, you just never know. You know, it's it can happen. It happen uh, internet scams. I was trying to think of an internet scam I heard of recently, but I can't. Okay, moving right along here to investment scams. Scammers often offer attractive investment opportunities such as stocks, bonds, gold, cryptocurrency, and all that good stuff. They may use fake testimonials. Can you believe that? Paying somebody to make a testimony or, or make a YouTube or make a commercial. Uh, credentials or fake guarantees and pressure the victim to act quickly. Buy it now. Get it today. You know, because we don't want to wait. So investment scams. Check fraud. Uh, fraud it's still going on? I believe so. I mean, a lot of people still do write checks. But uh, it was big when I was a young man. Uh, scammers send fake checks of money orders to the victim, often as part of a lottery or a sweepstakes or a work-at-home scheme. Uh, they ask the victim to deposit the check and, and send back the portion of the money that they got overpaid. So... There you go. Uh, I've gotten a, a few of these checks, and they, you know, all you got to do is just go put them in the bank. And the uh, next thing you know, the money's gone, and the bank holds you responsible. So that's uh, that's not good. Uh, the next one is caregiver caregiver scams. Hmm. How about that. Let's see how they do that. Scammers exploit the trust and dependence of older adults who need assistance with daily living. I hear that goes on a lot. They may be hired as caregivers or befriend the older adult and they, as a neighbor, friend, or relative. They may steal money, valuables, and medication. Yeah, I've known people do that. Or abuse the older adult physically, emotionally, or financially. Well, I tell you, there's a lot of people out there, they just don't care. They don't care about you. They don't. All they care about is what they can get. Uh, maybe to go sell and get drugs or whatever, you know. So, how do I avoid this? We avoid falling victims to these scams. Retirees and older adults should be cautious and uh, vigilant when dealing with strangers, especially online or over the phone. They should never give out the personal information or your financial information. Don't give them a credit card number. Uh, don't give them uh, your home phone number if you're on a cell phone and all that stuff. The best thing you can do is uh, when you get a, like me, when I get a number, uh, either a text or a call that, doesn't say it's coming from Bob or or Brian or Mike or something like that. I don't answer it. Sometimes I'll screen the call and it never gets to the full screen. So it won't uh, last long. But uh, I'll stop getting so many calls. But I get one every now and then. I used to get a rash on like 10 at a time in one day before lunch. And that's not good. So these are, uh, what's that, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 areas where... Criminals will try to scam you. So don't fall for the scam. Be vigilant. Uh, be uh, alert. And uh, just don't believe it. You know, uh, if anything, have your daughter or your son uh, call the number back. Or uh, if they're there, listen to it and talk to that person while they're there at your house. So that's it for today. We'll talk to you later. This is The Jordan Show. And this is Jeff. And I'm out.